All men dream, but not equally. Those who dream by night, in the dusty recesses of their minds, wake in the day to find that it was vanity. But the dreamers of the day are dangerous men, for they may act their dream with open eyes to make it possible. This I did. Than Drake in a suit. Yeah, it is. Hands up. Enjoying yourself, pal? Oh, yeah, you're a comedian. Nice warm welcome. You're both clean. My apologies. One can't be too careful. I'm guessing you're Talbot? Mr. Sullivan. And Mr. Drake. That's right. Do you have it? Let's uh, see the money first. Cut out. It's all there. Now let's see it. I'll need to authenticate it. Of course. Silver, 16th century, Elizabethan design, inscribed with Sir Francis Drake's motto. Well, it appears to be genuine. Well, of course it's genuine. If I may ask, how did you two come into this? Does it matter? <laughs> My client will be very pleased. Hold on a minute. Sully, this is fake. I assure you, Mr. Drake. Oh, oh you are right. This is phony as a three-dollar bill. What the hell are you trying to pull here? Perhaps I should be asking you. This is bullshit. Deal's off, pal. And you? You can tell your client. You blew it. Come on, Nate. Let's get the hell out of here. You're not really in a position to negotiate. Now give me the ring, take the case, and walk out of here like gentlemen. While you still can. Do as the man says, son. You're a thief. Well, now, that's ironic. Come on. The best you got is one more. Yeah, you and me. You're to guard me. Come on. Is which direction? Where are we going? Oh, the door. That would make sense. 
this? Hey there, big fella. Oh shit. Do you? The fuck? Oh, that's new. And then some. You're getting too old for this, buddy. No. God, this dude's a fucking brick. Slime on the stove, but I'll take Let's that. Go. Oops. Oh, crap. Oh, damn it. Oops. Come here, come here. Typical bloody yank. All talk. Hey, 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 hey. He's had enough. Haven't you, mate? Jesus. Don't. Stay down. The fuck is going on? What mess did you get into, Drake? Hello, Victor. Kate? Still wallowing in the gutter with your protege, I see. Not very dignified for a man of your age. Should have known you'd be behind this. Ooh. Oh, careful now. Wouldn't want you to melt. <laughs> Same cocky little shit. So fearless. I wonder what you're really afraid of. Not bullets or blood or broken bones. 
No. You get off on all this, don't you? Cheating death. Or not. No. <laughs> Mr. Sullivan, I won't harm your precious boy. I merely want what's mine. Give me that back. Cut her! Oh no. Oh. Shut, Shut up. up! You fool! Oh, you're bloody welcome, Your Majesty. Marlow, we have to get you out of here. Oh, come on, they're a right pair of arseholes. What? The fuck what kind of opening was that? Come here, Jack. Oh shit. Oh, it's Babu Nathan Dwig. Sun glare is actually really fucking awful. But kudos to the realism in that. Stand in the sun. Can't see shit. Great news from small beginnings. It's really cool. We can zoom on the displays though. Hey, it's the ship! Wait. Look at this one. Move, people. How can you even see into that? I can't see that. Oh well. Not here. Hmm. Hmm. Not here. Oh, there's a treasure here apparently. I don't see the shiny. Oh. Touche. Jack, really? You gotta go out now. Okay. head up the stairs. Maybe upstairs. I just had that same thought, obviously. <sighs> I'm a world-class thief. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. I can't look at that apparently. Whatever. That's not it. One of these cases. El museo cierra en 15 minutos. Hey. 
That looks familiar. Your favorite word. Gonna pick the lock. Oh no, he has a key. That's cheating, Sully. This game is so much bigger looking than the last one. Holy shit. The graphics are pretty. Look at that lighting. Ah, there he is. I don't look suspicious. Question, isn't it? Okay, but this game is so pretty. Where is he going? The meat shop? Why are we at the butcher? if I'm doing this correctly, but I'll go with it. What's he doing in there? I need to get a better look. I don't want to rush it now, but can you move it along? Yeah, I can't keep that. Ah, 
Adios, amigo. Okay. I gotta get that wallet. Crap. I can't go down that way. Okay, you've got the most ridiculous luck check in the world, Nathan Drake. Hey, there's a shiny. He's cutting through that building. I bet I can spot him from the roof. Shit! Not what I intended to do. Oh, okay. Oh, well, this is way easier. Spot him from the roof. Can I make that jump now? I can! It would help if I was doing it all correctly in the first place. Oh, who was your friend? Was a setup. Crap. Swag to me, viejo. Let's try that again. Let go of me. Ah, that's what I thought. Now don't try to run. You're a long way from home, son. Don't call me that. Parents must be worried about you. <laughs> yeah. Not likely. Okay, so subject. That was a nice lift back there. You're pretty good. I don't know what you're talking about, old man. Hey, don't call me that. Your technique is really sloppy, though. You're telegraphing all your moves. You're crazy. Yeah? You've been tailing me all over town. Probably figured me for an easy mark. But you picked the wrong guy, pal. Uh, uh. What? My wallet. Fine. Maybe we'll just call the police. Go ahead. Of course, they might wonder why a middle-aged tourist is following young boys down alleyways. <laughs> you are a crafty little beggar, aren't you? I know how to take care of myself. Anyway, I'm pretty sure you don't like the cops any more than I do. Good point. Kid. The wallet. Had to try. Of course you did. He took the key. Yep. Telegraphing all my moves, huh? Oh, Jesus. Four years later. Up 
a daisy. Alright. How do things... There's a yellow pole that direction. God, this music does not help. There it is. Huh? Okay, oh, Mr. So Jump. Okay. Oh, there's a shiny. I missed a shiny. Oh, that's cool. Damn it, kid. Why, Victor, look who it is. The filthy little stray that made off with your wallet. Come on, son. You haven't got a chance. Just hand it over. Now, the ring. What ring? <laughs> Catherine! Who do you think you are, boy? You're nothing but a filthy, cast off little beggar. You're not fit to touch these objects. What the hell do you think you're doing? He's just a kid. <laughs> Stop him! <laughs> <laughs> Stop the boy! Shit! Shit! Holy crap! He has the ring! Uh... Go! Break the door down! Oh god. He's heading oh. for the roof! I don't know why I'm headed for the roof, but I'm headed for the roof! Chain! Break it! Problems. No. Oh, okay, that did work. This is not gonna end well. You run up here. Leap of faith. I didn't know where that was going. Working on it. Thank you, Sally. Oh shit! Where am I supposed to go? What? There's nowhere for me to jump. Oh. My bad. Leap of faith! Ow! Jesus, Drake! Yep, your luck check. Oh, sh 
Oh, that Excuse was me. an. Hey, Sorry about that. Damn it! Stupid bed, being in the way. We've got him. Excuse me, coming through. Sorry about that. Shit! Have fun. Angle is everything. Oh, fuck you. Why would you do this shit in a suit? Juked! No, no, not juked. I have to do the jump again. Damn it. Oh, I don't know how that worked out. How do I- where do I fucking go? Alright. No, where the hell do I go? And the linear path ain't so linear. Shit, not what I meant to do. Ah! What the fuck? Where do I go? Unless... Nope. Not what I wanted. Don't tell me I have to go to bed, phone. You're not the boss of me. Aha! Secret side path. Look what we have here. <laughs> You've never shot a gun before, though, Drake. Are you all right? What are you shaking for? Just close your eyes. This won't hurt a bit. Shit, Sully. Come on. You're okay, kid. Safe here. Are we? Go on. Suit yourself. You don't want it. What do you want from me? Hmm. A little gratitude would be nice. I did just save your ass back there. He's not wrong. Thanks. But what's in it for you? I mean, you're a crook, right? You gotta have an angle. <laughs> you are one piece of work, kid. What's your story, anyway? Look, mister. No offense, but I don't even know you. Easily remedied. Victor Sullivan. This would be the part where you introduce yourself. Okay. Suppose you tell me what's so special about that ring. It belongs in my family. I'm just taking it back. Passed down from Francis Drake himself. That's right. I don't know how to break this to you, kid, but Drake didn't have any heirs. No children. Well, not with his wife back in England, anyway. <laughs> okay, good point. Let me see it. Come on, kid. If I was gonna take it from you, I would have done it by now. He 
It's got a valid point. Thank you. So, what is this? Parvis Mem Sick Parvis Magna. It means greatness from small beginnings. That was his motto. Yeah? You see, Queen Elizabeth gave it to him in 1581, when he got back to England after circumnavigating the globe. That's when she made him a knight. Well, you sure as hell didn't learn that on the streets. How's a kid your age know Latin? The nuns sort of insisted on it. Ah, uh, so like a boarding school. That's a nice word for it. Okay, then. So what was all huh. the business with the ring and that astrolabe thing back there? Why don't you tell me? You're the one working for him. Look, kid. A client wants something, I obtain it. For a price. I don't ask any questions. It's just a job. Look pretty friendly to me. Yeah, hey, well... Anyway. I'm pretty sure I'm fired. Okay, look. First of all... That was no astrolabe. It's some sort of decoding device. Check this out. On his way around the world, Drake sailed through the East Indies. Only he says that it took him six months to get from here to here. Yeah, so? So it doesn't add up. He was way too good a sailor for that. It would have taken him a month, tops. He was hiding something. Something big. How big? Like secret mission from the Queen big. Like millions in plunder treasure that hasn't ever been recovered big. That big? That big. And that decoder has something to do with it. I would bet my life on it. Oh, swell. And Marlowe's got it. Won't do her much good without the key. So it's a stalemate then. For now. <laughs> so you still haven't told me what your name is. And you still haven't told me what you want from me. Okay. Look, you got talent, but you got a lot to learn. You stick with me and I'll teach you a few things. Thanks. But I'm doing just fine on my own. Yeah, clearly. What do you say we uh, try this again? My friends... Call me Sully. Nathan Drake. Nate. Drake, huh? Okay. I see great things in our future, kid. <laughs> great things. They're gone. All right, lads? The fuck? <laughs> oh, God. Thought you were going to put a silencer on that thing. Sally, you've got no sense of drama. <laughs> right. <laughs> All right. Well, that racket's going to bring the cops any minute. Let's get the hell out of here. <sighs> Could have pulled a couple of those punches, Charlie. What do you mean? I hardly touched you. You headbutted me. Oh, <laughs> I got a little swept up in the moment. Yeah. You were the one who said make it look realistic. Better stay on his good side. All right, Brad Ice, look sharp. They're coming your way. Don't lose them. <sighs> Told you they'd take the bait. How long do you reckon before they realize this is a fake? Who cares? Finally flushed them out. And now we just follow them back to their hole. What? You make everything sound dirty. You do? Let's get moving. Come on, hurry it up, Nate. Shit. The filth. This way. What? Come on. Really? Come on, Charlie. What's the holdup? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right, all right. <laughs> It'll all be over soon. It'll all be over soon. It'll all be over soon. That's it. That's it. That's it. Oh, that wasn't too bad. What the hell is wrong with you? Nothing, I'm fine. That's blocked. 
Wait, we can get around this way. Yeah, yeah, right. Or we could just use a little muscle. Oh, there's a thought. The wall's too high. Here, let's move this thing over there. I got it. Put your back into it, mate. We haven't got all bloody night. Thanks for the help. Come on, move your lazy asses. <laughs> All right. Looks like the coast is clear. You should be more careful with your head, you know it. <laughs> Evening, lads. All right, darling. <sighs> Looks like hell spit you two back out. Uh, it was a thing of beauty, Chloe. I went off without a hitch. You're unusually quiet. What's up your bum? Oh, well, Charlie seemed to... Enjoy yourself a little bit too much for there my taste. <laughs> my ears are still ringing. Oh, for God's sake. Helps if you have something in between. <laughs> oh, it looks like I missed out on some fun. Yeah, you did, actually. It was very, very uh, cathartic. Yeah, it's funny. <laughs> Do you have any trouble? <laughs> no. Easy peasy. And you're sure they didn't see you trailing them? Not a chance. So, which door's scary popping inside in behind? Behind that one there. The green one. They drove in ages ago, and it's been dark ever since. You think they're still in there? Well... I haven't taken my eyes off it. And no one's gone in or out. Hmm. Think these are really necessary? I mean, it's not like they're expecting us. Don't underestimate these blokes. They're not messing about. Hey, we're just gonna sneak in and we sneak out. Just like that. Yeah, fair enough. But any trouble, you shoot first and ask questions later, all right? Man, I was sorely tempted to just pick up that briefcase back there and walk. Yeah, you got a lousy poker face, man. Hey, trust me, that's nothing compared to what we're onto. Yeah, well, at my age, a bird in the hand, you know. Ew. Didn't I tell you? Oh, please. <laughs> Look, I just hope you're right about this. Seems pretty quiet. You think they're still in there? Well. We're not gonna just barge in the front door and find out. Well, we can't afford to waste time standing here. I'll find a way in and check it out. You three stay here. Got it. Damn it, Jake. Yeah. Sorry about that. Oh, fine. I wonder what would have happened if I had just barged in the front door. Buddy, there you go. The goal is to not make a racket, Drake. Number one word. Oh, I don't like this. Empty? I don't like this at all. Wait a minute, where did it go? I don't like it. I don't like this one bit. Where the hell did they go? This doesn't make any sense. Get 
Give me a hand with this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got it. Does anybody see a car? Because I don't see a car. I don't understand. <laughs> Damn it. Are you sure this is the right one? Yes, the green door, I'm sure. Nate, we are losing time here. And that damn briefcase is looking better and better. All right, come on. They didn't just vanish into thin air, right? There's got to be an explanation. Just spread out and look around. Underground compartment. We were here, all right. I can still smell the exhaust. Okay, everyone stand on the things. Tire tracks. Still wet from the rain. Looks like the car turned here. Hey, check this out. How convenient. Four people. Four tires, four points of contact. Sully, stand right there. You two, like there and there. All right, everybody, on three. Ready? One, two, three. And? Well, this has got to be it. Wait, it's the light. Sully, aim your beam at the wall. Like headlights. I was half right. I thought it was underneath the building. Cadabra, goddamn cadaver. <laughs> um, Nate, just who are we dealing with here? Well, there's only one way to find out. We'll track the car. You head back to the van. We'll try and stay in radio contact. I'll let you know when we get through to the other side, all right? <laughs> Wherever the hell that is. Just be ready for anything. Might be a quick exit. No doubt. She's the best driver in the business, you know. So I've heard. I thought they act like they don't know each other. Not like they weren't kind of thing, not a thing. Ugh. Well, I think we agree this is more than a little weird. Who the hell drives their car underground? <laughs> oh, well, let me think. Someone who doesn't want to be followed, you know, it's just a guess. Smart ass. Looks like they bored straight into the old service tunnels. That was a really big rat. Hey, over here. It's locked. Not for long. No, don't go in there yet. I need to make sure there are no shinies. Okay. The shinies are very important. They sound like a script from Guild Wars. We should be able to squeeze through here. Thank you. Lead on, Macduff. Oh, for God's sake. What? Lay on. It's lay on, Macduff. <sighs> Can we out here alone, please, mate? All right, back there? Yeah, yeah, you know, just, just look keen on the old tight spaces, that's all. All right, just keep moving. Oh, thank God for that. Where the hell is Macduff? Is there no bottom to your ignorance? <laughs> Doing. 
Keep the silence up. Yeah, yeah. Fuck ladders. I'm Nathan Drake. Right below us. At least we're still on the right path. That was a cool camera pan. Shit! I try not to make noise. I make all the noise. Oh, that is a long way down. <laughs> Careful, it's slippery. No! What? I'll take it! I don't know how that worked, but I'll take it! Most dramatic ass scream I think I've ever heard Drake do. Sully, get out of the way. Take cover. Shit. You're mine. Seriously? Well, then fuck wasting bullets. Cover's blown. Oh, Melee. It always could be. There's a passage up there. And a ladder. Yeah. Looks like it's jammed though. Let me see if I can loosen it. <sighs> Gotta do all the hard work myself. Look out, here it comes. Looks like there's some sort of gate up there. Shimmy up that? No. How about you, Cutter? We'll help you. Sure, I got gotcha. Ready? Pull. Got it. Okay, Charlie. Come on. Why are you walking around with your flashlight on? That's too far to drop. I will break our damn necks. Down here. Oh no. We hit it now. Aw, damn it. I shouldn't have gone down here yet. What in the world? Charlie, who the hell are we dealing with here? I don't know, mate, but whoever they are, they are seriously weird. <laughs> Look, I've been in the London yeah, Underground. Mark. It does not it's look like this. Be Victoria might be older. Yeah. This stuff's been rusting for a century. The fuck? Maybe we can get through here. Like it's stuck. Right, one of us should climb up there and see if they can dislodge it. Good idea. Guess who? <laughs> oh, crap. <laughs> <laughs> I 
All right, there we are. Sully, you're like right in front of where I need to be. I'm too impatient to just climb normally. I gotta jump. I'm almost there. Okay, what are you, Drake? Buddy, pal, I'm hitting the button. Why are you not doing the thing? This is gonna not end well. You on the other side. I also walk tight ropes and BD. Well, you guys weren't going to get by them anyway. Yell at me later. Hey, there's Marlo's car. All right. From here on, no more guns. Hands up. Oh, uh, we must have taken a wrong turn somewhere. Yeah, is this King's Cross? Don't move. Hey, hey, you got us all wrong, man. We're from Cleveland. is this? I've never seen anything like it. Some sort of train station or something. Yeah, yeah, but it's got to be almost 200 years old. Jesus, just when you think things can't get any weirder. Mm. Uh, Sully? We've met, like, cursed zombie things. At this point, nothing is surprising. Get back. Take them out. Nicely done, boys. Come on. They must have gone through here. And it gets weirder. Oh, this stonework. Looks like Tudor. 16th century. What? This place is really starting to give me the creeps. Just now. No, 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 not through the door. They're probably still in there. Good point. I Up like hearing the commentary. What the fuck? Hey, over here. Okay, but I gotta just stop and appreciate the level of detail in all this game. Like, holy shit. No, 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 seriously. Who are these people? I'm not interested in your excuses. He was a loose cannon, and you should have known. 
Yes, it is regrettable, but... Not regrettable. Sloppy. Your poor judgment could have cost us everything. Four hundred years of searching. Finally, Drake's secret will be revealed. What is this? I don't understand. It's a forgery. What? That's not possible. I verified it myself. This isn't the ring. Really? I held it in my hands. I saw him put it around his neck. This doesn't make sense. We've been duped. Cutter. Uh-huh. You men stand guard and stay alert. We may have been followed. You, come with us. Find them and bring me that ring. I don't care how you get it. Well, shit. Quite the operation they got going here. Look at all this stuff. Drake. Nate, focus. We haven't got much time here. Yeah. This is? It's a book, mate. There's a lot of them in here. It's a library. It's not <coughs> just any book, wise ass. Belonged to T.E. Lawrence. You know, Lawrence of Arabia. Yes, 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 I know who he is. This was mailed from Dorset on the day of his motorcycle accident. May 13th, 1935. They must have killed him once they got their hands on it. They? Yeah, they, they, them, whoever these people are. Oh, what a lot of rubbish. It was an accident. Witnesses saw a black car run him off the road. Guys. Oh, 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 sorry, it was like a big cover-up. Maybe. Nate. What? Focus. That thing that you have been waiting 20 years for? Just take it. Right. Don't do this now, damn it, Drake. Sister was a right asshole. Would you shut up? It's an anagram. Golden Hind. The Golden Hind. Drake ship. Yes. It's a clue. It's got to be something hidden in this room. All right, spread out. See what you can find. How do you know it's in this room? Why do we know it's in this room? It's a ship. Golden Hind. Could it be a model? Maybe a painting? Well, what makes you think it's even here? It's gotta be here. Well, could be a Buckland Abbey for all we know. What? Buckland Abbey, it's a place you've never been there, move on. <laughs> from the wood of his ship. Maybe it's hidden in there. Yeah, I suppose it could be, but... No. No, it's gotta be here. 
Looking for a deer head. Running at everything. Amazing. Things in here must be worth a fortune. Nate, we can't be screwing around like this. They'll be back any minute. Yeah, come on, mate. Hurry up. I'm working on it. Well, make yourselves useful. Find the stupid deer. Where the fuck? Aha! Of course. There it is. I found it. Where? Up there. The figurehead from Drake's ship. Well, how the fuck am I supposed to... I can't shimmy up that. Huh. Well, what am I supposed to do? Damn it. Okay. I don't think there's a way to climb up to that. Uh, can't climb up this. Oh, damn it. It won't let me climb up that. Okay, well then what am I supposed to do? Alright. Can I climb up that second story again? Sorry. I'm a clumsy. Oh, well that was cool. There's a treasure up here. Drake, what are we... Aha! Convenient. My God, that's right. We went to Arabia. <laughs> Wait, we could use a little help here. Come on, Nate, let's go. What the hell are you doing? Grab the journal and the cipher disk. Go. Go. Running out of ammo. Grab their weapons. Make the break. <laughs> Suck it. Shh. Oh, my God, that's not what I meant to do. Working on it. Damn it. 
Hey, you had a machine gun. Did you drop it? No. Because that would be nice. And you're not nice. You're rude. There were a lot more of these dudes. Where'd they go? Oh. They're everywhere. Come on! Gotta keep moving! Damn it, I hit triangle. Why do I have to be stubborn? Nope, I buy a propane tank. I do not want to be by a propane tank. That was cute. That was really cute, buddy. Oh, that's cute. God damn it, I'm normally so much better than this. Like so. Oh, 
present. Up here, hurry! Really? Guys. Back up, back up. Come on, come on. Come on. Get in. Go, go. Drake, get the damn car. <sighs> Making me nervous. says, well, you better tickle mine, too, because now I gotta catch the goddamn thing. <laughs> Cheers. Mm. To a job? Well done. Yeah. Are you going to join us, darling? Yeah. Yeah. Well, the map proves it. Drake didn't screw around in the East Indies for six months. He sailed straight through and headed to Arabia. Right. But here's where it gets interesting. You see this, Mark? This is John D's signature. Hell's John D. John D. One of Queen Elizabeth's closest advisors. Everybody knows that. Yeah, yeah. He was a great mathematician and navigator. Okay, way ahead of his time. He's probably the one who invented that. Seriously into the occult. I mean, like a really creepy dog. Yeah, see, way. he signed all his letters to the Queen with this symbol, meaning he was her eyes. The original 007, you see, look, 007. Not really that relevant. So it was John D who sent Drake to Arabia. Yeah, it looks that way. D and Elizabeth. And Walsingham. Great, but what for? Well, that's the million dollar question, isn't it? And this is where T.E. Lawrence comes in. See, before Lawrence became Lawrence of Arabia, a great film, he was an archeologist. And even when he was just a kid, he was obsessed with history, everything to do with knights and the crusades. And he traveled all over, documenting every crusader site he could find. It, it's all in here. All right, you lost me completely, kid. What the hell has this got to do with Drake? I'm getting to that. See, after the war, Lawrence said that if he were ever to go back to Arabia, Holy Grail? it would be to search for this place he called the Atlantis of the Sands. Now, hmm. the legend crops up over and over again under different names. Ubar, Aram of the Pillars, the City of Brass. But the story is always the same. Well, city of immeasurable wealth, destroyed by God for its arrogance, swallowed forever in the sands of the Rubalkali Desert. Right here. Well. <laughs> I like the immeasurable wealth part, anyway. And you think this is what Elizabeth and Dee sent Drake after? Oh, yeah. And more importantly, it's what Marlowe is after. So, wait. If Drake was on a mission from the Queen to find this place, why all the secrecy? I mean, it looks like he went to a lot of trouble to hide whatever he found, even from Her Majesty. I don't know. Oh, oh, I'm sorry, what was that? No, hang on a second. Because if you recall the last time we went halfway around the world searching for a lost city, things got more than a little dicey. Yeah, but this time we have the upper hand. I mean, look, Drake only had half the clues. Lawrence only had half. We have both. And Marlowe has nothing. Small problem. The Rubalkali Desert, 600 miles across. The Bedouin go around the damn thing. And even if we knew where it was, which we don't, we would die trying to find Just it. Just hold on. You see these symbols here? Yeah. Looks like Sabian script. Sabian script. Right. Look, the Crusaders were searching for the same lost city a thousand years ago. But out of all the sites Lawrence documented, only two are marked with these symbols. One in Syria, the other in France. No, you two are going to Syria. We're heading to France. Look, we track down these clues. We find Lawrence's lost city. I'm sure of it. Well, no more. How are we going to get across 600 miles of impossible wasteland? Well, it's in the middle of the desert. So technically, it'd be about 300 miles. Wow. <laughs> Look, I don't know. We'll Silver lining. We burn that bridge when we get to it, eh? Exactly. What do you say? What the hell? Let's do it. <laughs> End of the line, I 
I guess. Don't. <laughs> Looks like we're going the rest of the way on foot. Yeah, my favorite outfit. What? Leave it to you to find a friggin' jungle in the middle of France. <laughs> well, we're definitely headed in the right direction. Chateau should be this way. Not too far. Come on. Yeah. Not too far? <laughs> With you, I never know if that means a quarter mile or twenty. Like that time you got us lost in Peru? Oh, you really want to bring up Peru? <laughs> you are not still holding that over me. I was 15, Sully. Should have known when I met you that I'd be in prison within a year. <laughs> you were headed that way all on your own, if you recall. <laughs> Besides, I got you out, didn't I? I always get you out. <laughs> Fuck yeah, shinies. Okay, something I'm seeing in this game that I really enjoy for, like, maybe the one person who's maybe watching me. I don't even know if anyone's watching the stream anymore. Anyways, it's how alive everything is. Like, I don't know, Chloe and Sully's fist bump in the last scene was really nice. Because it just makes everything feel realer. Or how the fact on, that he, like, here. puts his hands on stuff as he's walking places. It Just is. to like brace Just like himself. In notes. Gotta have more faith in me, Sully. Oh, these are so much nicer jeans than the first one. On the map. Ah, they must have just put that in. <laughs> All right. Come on, we'll hmm. find another way around. Well, this is gonna suck. See? <clears throat> or he pays attention to the stuff that he runs into. Hey, is that a pan flute? Yes, it is a pan flute. Cause that's a satyr. In the middle of France. The fuck. How many pages can I turn in here? Holding Ned. Pedantic thug. Holes lock into the cipher disc like a key. There's a lot in this journal, holy shit. That's gonna come in handy at some point. Another thing I really like about this game, just like all the little bitty details, every single title, like these hand drawn notes, or a thing. All right. This way. Watch your step. Kid. You sure we're in the right place? This doesn't seem old enough to be a crusader castle. It's more like a renaissance to me. You haven't been reading my books again, have you, Sully? <laughs> now, Lawrence says the original castle was built in the 11th century. The rest was added on later. All right. That almost ended in disaster. <laughs> Oh, this looks sketchy. Probably because it is. That's an old ass car. Look, Sully, your first car. Oh, man. That's a 1927 Auburn. Shit. Oh, well, good thing yeah. I can. Uh... What's this, Mr. Wizard? Lawn art. Pretty tacky. 
the knight who owned this castle, Lord Godfrey, returned from the Crusades in the 12th century. According to Lawrence, all that's left of the original castle is the square keep and the gardens. If Godfrey brought any secrets back from Arabia, that's where we're gonna find him. Oh. God, this game is so fucking pretty. Maybe once I finish the Uncharted, instead of hopping back into Assassin's Creed, I'll play Last of Us. No good? Not getting in this way. Well, that's inconvenient. I bet I can climb up through that hole. I bet you can. Let me guess. You're gonna sit tight, smoke a cigar again. Yeah. All right, don't burn the place down. Why is it you can't climb trees? You can climb basically anything except for trees. <laughs> Ups a daisy. All right. Now we go which direction? Oh, well, this will be fun. What about that window above you? I don't want to cut myself. I don't want to cut myself, so I'll just risk scaling, you know, even right, more, going, Be right back. even higher, just because I'd rather fall to my death than cut myself. Nathan Drake logic. Oh, wow. You gonna, gonna spin yourself some thread there, Drake? What the? No. Fall down. Okay. That's cool. I didn't want to fall anyway. Except that I did. Ow. Okay, maybe not. Crap. <laughs> hey, kid. Up here. It's chained shut. All right, back up. I'll shoot the lock off. Make sure that's the only thing you shoot off. I said lock. Wait, where the fuck were you talking from, Sully? Oh, it's a library! I want a chateau. New life goal. Buy a chateau. Build a chateau. Better idea. Okay, wait, is it not in there? Oh, he said up here. Up where? I can't climb up, can I? Am I stuck? Oh, am I an idiot? Also, a very probable thing. There's a shiny over there. Pretty sure that was a shiny. Oh, these were stairs at one point. You don't tell me what to do, game. I will flail around like an idiot till I figure it out. That's my style. Flailing. Like a dumbass. Okay, I can't climb that. Good to know. Thought I might be able to. That's a little sad. Can I climb up here? No. Why can't I climb this shit? This game is rude. No, of course I only have the handgun. Damn it. Ow. What am I sitting on? Oh, my hair. Alright. I'm struggling with life because that's what I do. Yeah, that's what I'm working on. How do I get up there? Oh. Oh! God, that blends in so easily. So you have no faith in me. You rude. 
You good? Okay. We gotta make our way through the chateau to the gardens. That's where we'll find the old keep. Okay, if Nathan Fillion and Gerard Butler had a very sexy camp. baby, it would be Nathan Drake. Yeah, we gotta get some leverage. Think you can get up there? I can try. God, this music is so great. Huh. All right. Like those chandeliers are on some kind of pulley system. Yeah, must be how they lowered them down to clean them. Hey, there's some kind of mechanism over there. This music is so good. Ah, oh, I love this game. I gotta find a way across. Yeah, yeah. Fine. And go this way and. Damn it, Drake. Sweetheart. We hit the circle button. Which means we fall and hold on to the ledge. Because I can't make that jump, can I? Eh, I could try. Oh, I can. God damn, this game is so fucking pretty. I can't. I'm be yelling that a lot. Oh, you're crazy. Watch it. That thing's coming out of the ceiling. These doors that hey, I can't can open. Find a way to that tower. <sighs> ah, okay. Ooh, getting motion sick. I don't want to get motion sick. I want to continue playing and watching the Nathan Drake, but he's finally wearing my favorite outfit. <sighs> Not what I intended to do. I got distracted. By myself. Holy fuck, it's pretty. the one in Lawrence's notebook. That must be it. Nice. Thanks. Okay. A desk? It is. 
Why is it sideways? Barricade against a door. Okay, whatever. That's not creepy. Uh... Shit! <laughs> Thought there was a ledge there. There was not a ledge there. And now I've learned my lesson. Just so. Wait, go through this? No, that would be convenient. Hey, oh, I thought there'd be a shiny. It's been a bit. That's a coin. Sully, you're in the way. Alright. Fick. Fick. Where the fuck am I supposed to go? All right. I don't want a hint. Okay, maybe I do. Oh, there's the open window. That's a baby grand. Looks like we can get through here. Yeah? Yep. Come on. We got it. Watch it! Oh, nice. the same symbol that was on the tower? Yeah. Yeah. That's gotta mean something, right? Maybe a secret passage? In a fireplace? Kinda on the nose, don't you think? Yeah, too simple. Yeah, these match the thing in the journal. I'm glad I looked at all of that journal. Damn, there's still some, like, expensive looking shit here. You know, the place has been, like, barricaded, which is suspicious as fuck. See? This door's barricaded, too. Not old, decrepit, and locked. Okay. Uh, you have a mace. Let's figure out where that is. There's something weird about these suits of armor. Come here, check it out. I know. I already know things. I am ahead of you, Sully. Alright, mace. Shield. Okay. Bases rotate. Interesting. Anything in Lawrence's notebook about this? Let me check. Okay. Yeah. Here, see? Four knights with an axe, a shield, a sword, and a morning star. Just like the ones in this room. Okay. Maybe we gotta turn each night so it's facing the right way. Yeah, but what's the right way? And the sword needs to face. Is that not right? Okay. Morning star faces the shield. What are you presenting me with? Oh fuck yes! I'm also still kind of eating my food food.
fidelity of Nathan's button is fun. Much better yeah, than previous titles. Silly. For like the. Stuck. So let's unstick it. <laughs> Chloe wasn't wrong. Everything Sully says is dirty. Or uh, no, Drake said that. Let's no, I was. I've been streaming, and I'm like, I must say, this is the best Nathan Drake butt. But keep in mind, this is still a PS3 butt. Wait till you get to the PS4 butt. Oh my god. <laughs> I think I'm in chapter 5. Like a player huh? Are you I wanted to play games with you! Oh, I know, but I didn't get to play things with you yesterday, and I was sad. And... How do you turn off game? Oh, close application. I saved. <laughs> 